What are you doing? You want me to drop it? Since I already looked so I was just gonna drop it. Yeah, no, I no, you don't need to do anything special. Okay. Okay, so this is our 392 that we're building right now. Not ours, it's a good customer of ours. <laughs> they are super gracious and letting us perform all the surgery on this. So this was a very built, very capable 392 and we're kind of going back to go forward. So, so far we have our skids all taken out, gas tanks out. This is gonna get a rear mounted fuel cell which means if you know with the 392s they have a rear exhaust so that's all going to get changed around uh full artex skid was taken off that's going to basically not be used we have drive shafts are taken out this thing obviously has an atlas which is super cool that's staying obviously the brackets on the frame are all getting cut off new cross members going in so we're in teardown mode the last two days have been pretty much getting everything to where it is now like I said, drive shafts are out, steering's off. We're gonna end up dropping the axles hopefully next week, getting those trimmed down to pretty much bare tubes. Uh, rear axle is gonna be the same way. We have, pro we're probably gonna do the fit up for the fuel cell next week as well, kind of get everything situated there. And then we're off to, we're off to the races as far as getting this thing uh, trimmed down to bare, bare bones. It's so annoying. Last bit. Would it help you if you were, were using this to find it? I have always heard unplugging it and plugging it back in works well. That's what I just tried. Are you sure you unplugged it and plugged it back? <gasps> it worked! <laughs> yup. Nailed it. Hey, caution. This it's is... not that heavy. I carried it's... it earlier. It's really well, not. That, well, open it. You do it. Oh boy. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Oh, I oh. feel like there's staples in there. There is. It's good for the knife. Is good thing I don't I just, mean, just in case you were curious, like there's, it's it's square. This is round. Just yeah. So yeah. It, 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 like, it's considered a prop. It's yeah. a prop. It's a secret. It's a secret. Oh. Okay, so what are we doing? Whoa. What are we, Whoa. What are we unboxing? What do we got going These on? These are some really, really nice ADS coilovers that we're putting on the Hemi build out what, there. What kind of ADS coilovers they are? They are 3.0 MBR coilovers. Yeah, These so, are internal oh, bifocals. Ah! Oh. oh, I've been stabbed. That probably did a better job than this would have. I've been stabbed. <laughs> all right, so in all seriousness, uh, these are, uh, Curtis probably knows more of the specs on these since he ordered them, but, but these, are, read, read the the real, box, these are the real deal, man. <laughs> these are 3.0 internal bypasses. Uh, these ones are the 12 inch ones, if I remember correctly. There should be a set of 14s for the rear of this project we got going on. Um, kind of a big deal. Yeah, according to ADS, right, this hasn't really been done quite yet. According to ADS and RPM, this is gonna be one of the first 392 JLs with 3.0s on it and ADSs. It's kind of a collective uh, uh, collect. I think there might be like one more check out there. Check these out. Compression and rebound, but these are just caps, right? Yeah, so those are just neat little dust so covers. These are just covers. And then underneath, fine thread. Yeah. There's your adjuster inside. How did this story start? Well, the customer came in, said, I want coilovers. And then was very specific about wanting ADSs. And we went, cool, no problem. We that need to no move problem. Lonzo. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. Well, we suggested changing a whole lot of the suspension. Um, rear ends go into a triangulated four link with a rear mounted fuel tank. Fronts go into a three link. We immediately jumped on board with RPM on that one, which come to find out RPM is recently working with ADS. So everybody was excited. So excited. So excited. ADS 
hasn't done much with RPM yet. It's still new. Uh, RPM's never done a 3.0 coilover kit with their triangulated four link, three link kit. So um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. This thing's gonna be Super really, fun. really, really rad. It's gonna be, uh, um, yeah, it's gonna be a really nice build. Yeah, I know Don and Michelle are very excited about this as if we are and we're going all in on this one. It's gonna be really nice when it's done. Yeah, they sure are pretty. Yeah, they are. Are these really expensive? They're really expensive, like, but they're like how? really cool. I'm just... Dude, we look, we if you gotta <laughs> ask, if you gotta <laughs> yeah, ask. Yeah, if you, you don't know, you clearly you are. Ask, you, 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 you must be like a king person or something. <laughs> the lady of the night never tells his secret. <laughs> so I think that the, the wheels should be anodized this color gold. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, they're already... Okay, I have there. terrible ideas. Yeah. Whatever. The thing about David is um, when he comes up with an idea, we go, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It's like a snake. <laughs> okay, Brittany Spears. <laughs> you want me to carry one of these? I feel like that's pretty clear. <laughs> Flavor Flav! <laughs> oh. Yeah, is that, it's like it's like a gold clock, but cooler. So, really loud out here. These guys are going nuts. But here it is, in all its glory, and it's all going to that. Easy, easy. David's pretty clumsy. It's not that I'm clumsy. It's just that I don't care. It's nuts. Super cool. Gen right rear mounted fuel tank. Uh, RPM rear triangulated rear. Front three link. Their coilover towers. 14 in the rear, 12 in the front. ADS bump stops on all four corners. Yeah, big dog stuff. This is a ton of labor too, right? Yeah, a lot. Those guys have been taking that thing apart for four days, it feels like and we're not even close to being ready. John's over there cutting all the brackets off the Dynatrack one ton. He's been at that for two days. Matt and Jake are removing every unnecessary piece of that Jeep at this point. So all the brackets got cut off. No more of that nonsense from Dynatrack. We're going full on the RPM triangulated four link kit. So we got a bare axle housing here. Uh, there's a little bit of remnants from old brackets and old welds that I'll fill in with the welder and then knock them all down when I'm done. And then I'll come in with our little tube sander and I'll prep the axle tubes completely so that everything has a clean slate to weld all the new brackets on. And then slap a coat of paint on it and we're back on the road. Just uh, a lot of grinding. Like five mean? hours of grinding. Like two full days into this, right? E the front axle was four hours, but that's because we kept a handful of the brackets. I started this this morning and I'm still not done. So I probably have another hour and a half until this thing's on a wrap and then ready for more work to be done to it. But then it's construction instead of destruction. Gone through. I've at least gone through six. I think Sean's at five. Matt's probably equally at five or six. <laughs> and we've been going out pretty much all morning. So Milwaukee would sponsor us. It would probably help us out. Everybody has a Milwaukee tool in their hand. So this is why it's to cut to the chase. This makes sense. Yeah. And the Jeep thread. So it's like the spokes Jeep of Milwaukee. We'll put a sticker on the side. Oh, okay. All right.